Hold on. A little bit better. What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Stevie the Black. It's S-C-E-V-E-E, the Black. I'm back, and I'm here to give you my Monday Night Raw review today. I know it's a little bit late, but I don't like to do videos in the morning because I'm not much of a morning person, you know, unless I have to be. So I like to do them in the afternoon around 4, maybe somewhere between 2 and 4, somewhere around there. But sometimes time just goes by so fast, I'm like, ah, I gotta do the video. And I tried to do it earlier, but things got complicated, so I'm doing it now. Um, but before I do it, I want to let everyone know, you're probably wondering, Steven, you're one of the biggest cowboy haters on YouTube. Where you been? What's your situation the whole Aaron Rodgers beating the Dallas Cowboys thing? Don't worry. I got something planned for tomorrow. I couldn't do it Sunday because <clears throat> I was out of town. Monday, I just didn't feel like doing it. <clears throat> Tuesday, slipped my mind. But I got something planned for tomorrow. I got something planned for tomorrow, so stay tuned for that. Also, I have a video plan for the Cavaliers and Warriors game that happened last night. So, look forward to that as well. My second basketball video. Looking forward to doing that. And obviously, the SmackDown review tomorrow. And the uh, paper, and the championship games for, the, for a Sunday as well. So, without wasting any more time, let's get into Monday Night Raw. So, Raw kicks off with Roman Reigns. He's in the ring talking about how... He's not complaining about the fact that he lost the United States Championship in a handicap match because when he came into the Shield, he was beating everybody up that way. So he said he's not complaining, but that he's going to beat Kevin Owens for the title and that Chris Jericho can't help him because he'll be in the shark cage and yada, yada, yada. And then Paul Heyman comes out talking about how Brock Lesnar is going to destroy everybody, win the Rumble, and then Kevin Owens Chris Jericho come out, and then Seth Rollins comes out, and then Braun Strowman comes out, and then... Sami Zayn comes out, and then Brock Lesnar comes out, and it's just a big fight. And everybody's fighting and everything, and a brawl breaks out, and Brock Lesnar beats up everybody and leaves. Man, what I wouldn't give to have Brock Lesnar's job, you know? To just come in, beat people up, not even there for about even five minutes, maybe. Just goes there, does what he has to do, and then leave. And gets a big, fat check for doing it. Bro, if I could just do that. That, that would be the life right there. But, you know, it is what it is. But I gave that segment an A. I thought it was a very powerful segment. And I know a lot of people don't like it when the authority figures open up the show. So, hey, this is. would you prefer this? I thought it was pretty good. So, A. Next, we had Enzo and Cash taking on Ginger Mahal and Rusev. The match was all right. Um, so, I gave it a C. But the reason I gave it a C is because every, they put Enzo and Cash in these stupid storylines. Like, I don't know why they refuse to put them in the tag team title picture or put them in battles with the other tag teams. At least, but they're putting them in stupid, uh, stupid rivalries, and hopefully now that this rivalry is over, they can start to focus on the tag team championships for WrestleMania. Because I'm predicting right here, right now, that they will win the titles at WrestleMania. Hopefully, I'm right about that because I think they deserve it because they're one of the most popular tag teams in the entire WWE. Yet they're in a dumb feud with Rusev and Ginger Mahal. Like that makes no sense. Like, even the New Day doing so, as irrelevant as they is, they are the most popular thing in WWE, and yet still they're in some bogus stuff right now. So, like, you see what I'm saying? Like, the tag team division is still the New Day. Like, as much as you don't want to admit it, it's still the New Day. It still belongs to the New Day, whether they're the champions or not. And speaking of the tag team championships, I have Cesaro and Sheamus next taking on the club. And I had that match a beat. The match was pretty good. Back and forth action. Great action. Sheamus knocks out the ref. Uh, allowing So he doesn't see allowing them to take out Sheamus. And then allowing them to hit the magic killer on Cesaro to pin him and win the tag team titles. I was actually happy about it because I think they deserve the tag team titles. But then the first ref wakes up. Says, oh no, that doesn't count because Sheamus hit me. So it's a disqualification. Like, what? So you can't do stuff like that. But then the week before when stuff was happening... Uh, people say, no, 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 don't disqualify, don't disqualify, don't disqualify, let's continue the match. Like, you, you can't do that. Like, that just doesn't make any sense. And I thought, when a referee does a decision, it doesn't count. But apparently, that just doesn't matter anymore. But then again, a lot of things don't matter. So I think, hopefully, they have a match at the Royal Rumble. Cesaro and Sheamus in the club, and the club wins that match. So that way, because Sheamus and Cesaro are both in the Rumble. So that way, they can both be in the Rumble, do what they have to do with each other, and then that sets up Enzo and Cass to beat the club for the titles at WrestleMania. 
and then next. So the match was a B, but because of the decision that they did, the the titles with Enzo and Cat uh, with the club, it turned into a D. So next we have Biggie versus Titus O'Neil. Um, again, I knew once they were doing Kofi versus him in the week before, it was Xavier that they were going to do Big E, obviously. Um, again, stupid stuff with the New Day. There's really nothing for them to do right now. I don't blame them for not doing anything. Like, what is there to do with them right now? There's nothing for them to do unless they want to keep them in a tag team title picture. But besides that, I mean, there's nothing really you can put them in. I mean, next week is the final week before the Rumble, so... Sorry about that. Um... So, otherwise, after that, the match was a C. We all knew Big E was winning, so it doesn't matter. Next, Charlotte talks about Bailey and how she's making fun of her because of dreams and pictures and poems and stuff like that. Bailey comes out, lays a few poems on her own, and that's about it. Uh, I got Charlotte winning this. Obviously, she's going to be winning and keeping her pay-per-view streak alive until WrestleMania. Obviously, I'm all against streaks now because the streak, the streak, the only streak that mattered ended. And when you end that streak, no one else deserves to have a streak. Because he was the originator of the streak. Just to put that out there. But that was a C. Next. And like I said last week, I don't like. Alright, so that's, that was another segment. For the next segment it's about the cruise weights. And again, last week I said I don't really care about the cruise weights that much because they don't do anything interesting. So I don't care. So, I mean, I, I still pay attention to them. Like, but, like, I watch them sometimes. But unless nothing interesting happens, I'm not going to talk about it because I really don't care. This week, though, I'm starting to pay attention to the Cedric Alexander and Alicia Fox thing. So Alicia Fox cost Cedric Alexander a match against Noam Dar. And that same week, she made out with him or kissed him, right? Then that same week, after the match, he broke up with Alicia Fox, and she went all crazy and stuff. So, obviously, and then last night, she, when Cedric Alexander was facing the Brian Kendrick, she helped him win. Obviously, the storyline is, he's going to be in some kind of match or whatever. Alicia Fox is going to look like she's going to come down to help him. She's going to slap him or whatever, and end up going out with Norm Dar. And I can just see that playing out, because... I'm not dumb. I've seen this in WWE thousands of times, and they'll probably play it a thousand more times later on. But I can see, obviously, Alicia Fox turning heel, working with uh, Noam Dar to stop Cedric Alexander and to make his life a living, you know what, and making sure he doesn't win any matches whatsoever. So, if you uh, heard it here first, remember that. But I gave it a C because I know what's going on. And then finally, we had the six man tag team match of Seth Rollins and Roman Reigns. And Sami Zayn taking on Chris Jericho, Roman, Chris Jericho, Braun Strowman, and Kevin Owens. The match ends. The match was a pretty good match. Match ended with Braun Strowman once again pinning Sami Zayn. He was gonna put him through a table. Roman Reigns and Seth Rollins come to save him. Kevin Owens ends up putting Roman Reigns in the announce table to end the show. And that was Raw. What I rate it out of a five? I'm gonna give Raw a three point five out of five. I think it was all right. But if they're going to end up with a bang. Before the Rumble, they got to do a much better job next week. Goldberg will be back next week. Um, I don't know about Taker. He'll probably just... We'll just next time we'll see him is at the Rumble. So, Oh, and obviously, Kurt Angle is going to be inducted into the WWE Hall of Fame. He's headlining it. Um, How do I feel about that? Obviously, it's good to hear Kurt Angle again. See Kurt Angle again to hear his music. And the, the fact that people still remember, You suck! You suck. Like, that's just going to stick with it because it goes with it. He was the original You Suck to go along with the song. So, not John Cena. John Cena sucks. But anyway, um, yeah, he was the originator of all that. Um, but other than that, uh, I mean, it's, it's great. Obviously, he deserves to be put in the Royal Rumble. Hopefully, he had another match. And obviously, the things that people were talking about was him coming up and joining with American Alpha, him against Rusev. I mean, but the one I'm interested in is Kurt Angle comes back. He wouldn't have a match at WrestleMania because I think WWE should still be doing Undertaker versus John Cena for the WWE title. But it looks like Vince has scrapped that, which I think is dumb because he wants to save it for next year's WrestleMania, which I think is dumb because Taker can't be around this long. You're going to kill the man, man. You're going to kill him. But I think that... SummerSlam this year, they should have John Cena versus Kurt Angle. I think Kurt Angle should come back for that match 
and have it because when John Cena had his first match, it was against who? Kurt Angle. So who should Kurt Angle's first opponent be when he returns? It should be John Cena. It'll be like a reverse. But this time, John Cena should be the heel and Kurt Angle will come back to be the face and it'll be a complete reverse of what it was when it first happened. And I think that would be a great, and plus they had a tons of great matches when Cena first came in and it'll be awesome, it'll be deja vu, it'll be all that stuff. So, congratulations Kurt Angle, can't wait to see you at the uh, Hall of Fame. Obviously I ain't got no WrestleMania tickets, it's in, it's in Florida, I'm trying to go, but it's difficult right now. So I'm gonna let you know, I will end up going by myself, gosh darn it, I don't care. I will get a bus. I will get a friend. I am buying a ticket. I am letting you know that right now. I will go by myself. But um, other than that, I, that that's about it. Um, don't see anything else. Looking forward to the uh, women's tag team. Uh, looking for the looking forward to the women's steel cage match tonight between Becky Lynch and uh, between Becky Lynch and um, Dag. What's your name? Alexa Bliss, looking forward to that. I think that's going to be the match of the night. Um, but like I said, tomorrow, look forward to the Cowboys. My my thoughts on that. Look forward to that, the SmackDown review, and the, uh, the championship game review for Sunday. And that's about it. So with that being said, I'm out. Peace out. Peace.